what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since so i'm talking about jeepers creepers 4 in this video here again today jeepers creepers reborn as you see here on your screen we have a new poster to talk about and i'm gonna give it get into another theory regarding lane and what is going on with her later on in the movie but this poster you have here on your screen is for the uk from the 101 films distributor for the uk that movie jeepers creepers reborn if you're in the uk listening to this and you've been looking to know when it's coming out in theaters for you supposed to come out on september 24th in theaters there and i think that's also going to be a limited release might be more wide widespread compared to the states but uh after that i'm guessing not actually widespread at all because it's coming to dvd in the uk on october 10th through 101 films now the states we're still going to get that home media release in november but the poster you have here on your screen i know a lot of you saw my tweet going um I'm saying um because I'm like is this the creeper or is this Freddy Krueger dressed as the creeper and I saw a lot of you kind of chime in sharing the same sentiment I'm thinking about I don't think that this is a good poster honestly there are good aspects to it but it's the design of the creeper that really is just not hitting it with me something about it is not clicking I don't think it's because Jonathan Breck is not in the makeup as much as I think it's the makeup because just how some of you pointed out yes this does look like freddy Krue freddy krueger trying to cosplay as the creeper shoot I i'll throw you even one better see let's see how old some of you are this looks like and this is probably a dr being dramatic this looks like marnie's mom from halloween town calabar's revenge when he starts turning everybody in attendance making their costumes make them real monsters this looks like marnie's mom <laughs> after that trying to cosplay as the creeper but we'll see what ends up ultimately happening with the movie because again jaru benjamin there's nothing wrong as far as him it's just that the makeup i believe is just very just like unconvincing of giving us something that is even remotely accurate to the creeper we all know and love because again it does look like they were trying to go for freddy krueger cosplaying as the creeper but then again there's so many other details that i know we're going to have when the movie is finally able to be watched on the big screen if you're in a t going to be going to the fathom event bless your heart uh yes i will be attending so i guess bless me too but uh we'll get to see the full context of this new redesign and if jaru benjamin can bring to the table something that is something we can all say stands on its own as a solid performance as the creeper i know you myself alike would have preferred it be jonathan brickback and i also know some of you reached out to timo because you would send me screenshots reached out to him would talk about jonathan brick and it was kind of like he he couldn't talk about anything related to the movie for a long period of time uh i don't i even still i don't think he's really saying much about the movie i might be mistaken but i don't i don't really see him talking about this movie too often the overall countdown as far as like what they've been doing for 23 days to go and counting down 22 21 20 19 18 because i think what we're on like now 12 days or 11 days i mean they're not really doing anything i think what they should have done is on each day that you're counting down from give us something else from the movie let us get an interview with d wallace you know these interviews you're throwing out here give us give us another interview let us hear from the person who wrote this movie we haven't heard a single thing from him if if you reach out to him on twitter i don't even think he's really chiming in on any thoughts about the movie they could have done so much more versus just playing the same reel multiple days in a row and then sometimes yeah they throw in like these new images of lane and chase in some room or behind some glass with blood on it. it looks like there's crows crow feathers on it and another shot at one point on another day of d wallace's character with gary graham but other than that these countdowns have just been the same clip getting replayed over and over his only thing is that the the number of days left until the creeper is reborn is what's changing uh now the other thing i want to say really quick is that for everyone who thinks that this movie has nothing to do with the other two movies you are wrong he is waking up in the tagger barn or it is waking up in the tagger barn if it has nothing to do with the other two movies but you still have it waking up in the tagger barn that is not something that should be praised anyway that is a continuity error that is terrible writing the other thing that i want to chime in on again is related to lane because lane looks like she's going to go through some type of ritualistic process later on in the movie this i would assume is related to that baby if lane ends up being pregnant lane's fate honestly seems like she's going to die i don't know i don't see it happening any other way with the carriage and the creeper sitting by the the baby carriage or i don't even think it's a carriage but uh 
it was something similar to like what you would see on the poster of Rosemary's Baby. I, I just don't remember what you call those. It actually might be a carriage. But uh, with that in mind, the thought of her possibly being pregnant going off of some dialogue bits from a supposed leaked script page. She is either going to die while the creeper is trying to extract this baby from her, if that's what happens. Or she is going to die before that. And then the creeper still just extracts the baby from her because I really do believe it's not Lane that the creeper is after as much as it might be this baby that's within her. And yes, I know it is very reminiscent to Nightmare on Elm Street 5. So if you're someone who already knows how trash Nightmare on Elm Street 5 is, that's not probably going to give you high hopes related to this movie. But the images that we've seen of her with that red dot on her forehead kind of just highlight that she's going to go through some type of ritual process later on in the movie. And of course, it would have to do something with her baby because I don't think there's anything specifically pertaining to Lane herself that the creeper wants other than what's growing inside of her. Chase, on the other hand, I think Chase honestly will make it out of the movie alive. I think the person who's going to die this time around will be Lane. And I do think in a lot of ways, this relationship that they have going on is supposed to be kind of in a, in a way an homage to the characters of Kenny and Darla. A couple we never really got to see on screen. And a lot of you will argue that Kenny Brandon wasn't black. That's fine. I believe Kenny Brandon was black and they... They race swapped him in Jeepers Creepers 3 with making his mother. There's nothing wrong with his mother being Meg Foster. He could have been a mixed boy. But the fact of the matter is they made it pretty clear that this is not a mixed boy. This is somebody who's completely Caucasian. When in the first movie, it seemed like he was black. And I think there's also everything else outside of the third movie detailing that Kenny and Darla wore an interracial relationship. So I think Lane will die in Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I think Chase will make it out alive. And... If there is that Trisha cameo, then it's just there. I would rather, honestly, Gina Phillips not be involved in this. Although, if she is, and I'm not going to say it wasn't nice to see her. I just think this isn't the movie to kind of throw Trisha into. But uh, you guys can let me know what you guys think. Who's going to die in Jeepers Creepers 4 down in the comment section below? What do you think is going to happen to Chase or Lane? What do you think about that new poster? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video